60 years ago, a heavy rainfall contributed to the destruction of two dams, which in turn caused a massive flood. 31 lives were lost in these floods, 30 of which were on the Blackfeet Reservation. I attended a ceremony in Browning to honor those lost in the 1964 floods. It's the 60th anniversary of the worst natural disaster in Montana's history. Heavy snowpack and the delay of snow melt caused a surge of water, which contributed to the rupture of two dams located at Two Medicine and Birch Creek, which uprooted lives and claimed several others. President Lyndon Johnson declared 11 Montana counties federal disaster areas, and damages stood at an estimated $62 million. Today, the Blackfeet remember and honor their own that perished. Their reservation was hit hardest by the surge. We come up here and we honor them because we never, we'll never forget them. The day was filled with song, prayer, and the regaling of tragic tales from a not-so-distant past. I spoke with a couple in attendance about what they remember. Most of the people here pitched in like you heard, the, uh, throwing tires and barbed wire, whatever they could to save those that were in peril. And they weren't able to rescue everybody, but they could rescue some. In, uh, my, my other younger brother, he was pretty small. So I put him on my back and we headed for high ground. About a half mile, I carried him on my back. We had been ate nothing for three days, was all soaking wet, no clothes, no nothing. But we managed to survive. Relief came by way of the Red Cross and U.S. government. I was told it took two weeks for relief to finally arrive by way of helicopter since all the bridges had been destroyed. There was no warning of the water rushing towards civilization, which consumed entire homes in under an hour. Our barns, our sheds, our house made it through, but it was about two feet full of mud. We just, my dad, we just shoveled it out. But by the grace of God, was able to get out when we did. We're in uh, the families below us. They all was able to uh, get up on top. Many others weren't as fortunate. In total, 31 lives were lost and 20% of the surface area of the state was ravaged. The landscape was much different once the water subsided. We were finding cows dead in trees hanging out. And we had lost everything, machinery, like you said, bales, vehicles. But to this day, the Blackfeet remember at their ceremony, which focuses on healing and bonding through trial. They focus on their fortune in a situation that could have been worse. They, they both collapsed during the day in the morning. And it, it's like if it was that night, then there would have been a lot more death. You know, we pray for the ones that were never found. We we're, were lucky that we didn't lose none of our family. From Browning, Owen Scornicay's MTN News. The Montana Division of Criminal Investigation is investigating a critical incident that happened in Cutbank last night. The agency says that at about 1.20 a.m., a Cutbank police officer saw a disorderly individual in the street outside a bar. And when the officer approached, the person ran to a parked vehicle in the Pioneer Bar parking lot. When he was ordered out of the car, the suspect reportedly drove over the officer, who responded by firing his duty weapon at the man. The 42-year-old suspect was hit by the gunfire and is reported to be in critical condition. The officer was injured and received medical treatment. He is expected to make a full recovery. The officer has been placed on administrative leave as the investigation proceeds, and the names of the suspect and the officer have not yet been released. We will update you when we get more information.